What's up everyone, Durgernock here with a walkthrough of C3, the voice over IP program, uh, or VoIP. We here at Dragonfire use C3 mostly for casual chat, um, whenever we're around in like dungeons or dailies or scenarios, uh, occasionally officers meetings. Um, we also have a mumble server and it is usually dedicated for raiding and uh, raided PvP groups, uh, you know, the hard more hardcore aspects of the game. <clears throat> now, as you can see here, C3 is powered by Vivox. Uh, it says that it is in beta, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, Vivox is a popular voice over IP company who has many VoIP programs for mobile devices, but it does seem that um, while the servers are still running because they use the Vivox servers, um, any support for C3 is pretty much abandoned, <clears throat> which is why that it seems like it'll be perpetually in the beta mode. <clears throat> uh, still though, I really like the program and how it works, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, first off, uh, if you don't have an account and you've already installed the uh, program at downloadc3.com, or you can type in up here downloadc3 slash create account, if you don't have an account, you can click here and it'll bring up this page <clears throat> where you'll be asked to fill in your C3 name, which uh, once you've logged in, you'll be able to change this. The email, password, confirm password, um, and then download, or if you've already downloaded, click here and it'll open it up. You'll also get a confirmation email and... You can just uh, click on that and that'll verify your account. Alright, so let's go ahead and log in. So first we're going to start off with the profile menu and we'll get to the rest of this here in a minute. Up here you can see your uh, your personal profile spot here. You can double click that and it'll pull up your edit profile here where you can change your profile name, you can add an avatar, you can add a tagline which will appear under your name when you are in a chat channel, a description of yourself, your location, your email address, and uh, I don't think it shows that by default and I don't know if you can change it. So, uh, And then you can add a phone number if you so choose. <clears throat> So the next portion of this little spot up here is you can see the status here, which says online. You can change that by clicking the menu, setting to away, busy, be right back, offline, etc. and so on. Now in here you can also see it says exit C3. Uh, this is pretty important because a lot of people will think that if they just click on the X, it'll close down C3, but it will not and everybody will be able to hear whatever is in the background if you forget to close it properly. So you can click on the menu, exit C3 here, you can right click, exit C3 here, or you can go down to your <coughs> uh, start bar application, right click, and exit C3 from here. <coughs> now also, there is a voice font which we will get to if I remember. <laughs> later on when we get into the settings tab and right here is the compact mode which I will click and we will hope that C3 won't bug out on me if I click it oh oh I think it's gonna bug oh yep it bugged ah uh, fail video that's alright we'll start it back up it'll work fine this next time Everybody waits for the loading screen now. Alright, here we go. So as you can see, it doesn't always do that. Usually if you've started up the rear M, I've started it up a couple times now just because I've shot this video at least three times. We switch to compact mode. It'll pop to compact mode here. Um, and if you are actually in a chat uh, channel, you can select to show other people that are in the channel if you want. <clears throat> also on this bar is the mute button so you can mute your microphone. You can also control the output 
to the channels as to uh, your microphone volume. So you can set your microphone volume way up or way down and fine tune it um, as dictated by whoever happens to be in the channel with you and says, hey man, you're too loud or you're too soft. Is there anything you can do about it? Uh, we'll get into even more fine tuning here in a bit. But first, we're going to hit the uh, different tabs here. As you can see, we have the Home tab, which is open now, the Channels tab, the Friends tab, Facebook tab, Phone tab, and the Settings tab. Now, on the Home tab, you can see the subsections here, Notifications, which you can sort by date or sort by user. And notifications will pop up if anybody sends you a private message or if you get uh, a guild message or something like that. Your recent activity is shown here. <clears throat> you can see that uh, I was last in, you know, the Dragonfire chat room or uh, chat channel. Uh, it doesn't exactly show. I think it says one minute. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't think that they communicate with the server real well on that aspect. But the voice and stuff comes through true. Uh, here we have a notification that I got from one of the guild members. Uh, if I were to click on that, uh, since it has some sense of information in it, I won't. But if I were to click on that, it would show down here in the display pane uh, what he said. So if I click on the Dragonfire uh, channel, it'll show up in the display pane here. How many hours you've logged, the uh, tags that are associated with the channel, the... Uh, the description of the channel here and the welcome message of the channel. Uh, here you can see that it is marked private which means that you are required to have a password which you can find on our website uh, once you've logged in or uh, in the guild info. Here you can see a phone number and then a code, an access code. You can actually uh, once you're in here you can click on share and you can copy the phone number and access code and people can actually call in to the chat room uh, which is really neat and I've used it on a couple of occasions where I haven't been able to be online or at my own computer where I've been over at the girlfriend's house but the guild master was online while she was playing and <clears throat> I've called in to talk to him so that's that's really nice you can also uh, change your activity here or change what display is on your activity so just like that all right that's it for the no or the home tab so now we'll pop over to the channels tab you can see that you have a favorites sub tab here you can sort by name sort by the number of users <coughs> you can see here dragonfire has been favorited by myself and you can click unfavorite to remove them so if you have multiple channels multiple friends who are using C3 you can pop in and have easy access to the different channels that you're associated with now if I were to expand that here you can see it shows how many users and then this tab drop down over here lists the sub channels that are associated with that channel so as you can see, we have an officer's lounge, a PvP channel, a raid channel. I just set that up because it's standard operating practices when you're using a voice over IP. <clears throat> and you can also see in the channel that it lists the moderators as well. Now my channels is the ones that you have created. Of course I've created the Dragonfire one and the officer's lounge and all of that. Sort by name, sort by number of users that sort of thing. The clan tree lists the clan or the actual channel and everything that's in it. The search function here <coughs> is really nice because you can search by an actual name or a part of a name and it'll pull up the specific chat room or you can search by tags you can click MMO and clear this field here. You can search by different tags and uh, find different guilds who are using it for different things. First person shooters. You can see there are a lot of people who actually use it. So 
<clears throat> and now we'll pop over to the create tab and we're waiting for C3. My computer slows down a bit when I'm shooting these videos. So this is uh, where you can create your channels. You can create your own channels here. Um, you can enter your channel name, add an avatar, a description of the channel as we saw earlier, the message that appears below the channel name, and the different tags that you can associate with uh, your channel. Here you can select the channel type. <coughs> Public means that anybody can log in. Uh, private is where you can set a password. To enter the channel, users must type in a password or invitation where only people that you have sent an invite to can enter the channel. Um, you can set up an access list where you can say, okay, these people are the only people that are allowed to join in. <coughs> uh, assign a C3 number is for the telephone uh, number portion of calling into a channel, and you can prevent others from creating subchannels. Uh, here you can edit the moderators and ban or unban users as well. And then after you've done all of that, you can click create the channel and it will do so. All right, we'll pop over to the friends tab. As you can see, uh, or tab rather, as you can see, it lists tags that you have associated with different friends. <coughs> so if I were to click on guildmates, it would pull up anybody who has the tab tag guildmate on there. If I were to deselect that and click friends, it'll just say the ones who are friends. I've marked real life friends with friends, so don't let anybody get butt hurt that I didn't put you on as my friend if you're in the guild. <laughs> um, you can sort by online status, whether or not anybody's online, or sort by the name. There is not going to be anybody online because nobody likes me, and apparently it's not even going to sort right anyway. So, <laughs> um, You can also manage the tags over here, enter in new tags, and then select who you want to apply them to. You can delete them by deleting certain tabs by clicking that. In fact, I need to add guildmates to his tab. And guildmates to his as well. So now you can see that that has worked. <coughs> add friends by clicking down here. You can search by their C3 name or their email. And click invite and it will add them via email or or if you want to send it to their email or you can type in their name it says he's already a friend so I can't add him but if he wasn't a friend I could click add and it would uh, send a notification that I want to be your friend yo so these portions right here you can start a your own channel with somebody which is what just happened there and that would just be between myself and Lorcan. <coughs> you can also send a private message, heading, subheading, and the message there. And you also have several other options. Remove as friend, like the user, text chat, call phone, edit tags, things of that nature. So you can see that the tags here guilds and friends, or guildmates and friends, add existing tags, etc. and so on. You can also send a mass notification, which is really nice. So if I were to click here and click on the To tab, it pulls up Select Recipients, and I can say, type in Guildmates, and it will sort just the people who are guildmates, and I can click Add All. Super, super nice feature and put in the heading, subheading, and message, and it will deliver to everybody that is in the guild. And it's a great way to pass uh, information back and forth to all the guild members. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's about it for that. You can see that it displays the profile if you've clicked on somebody. and you can do all of the things from over here over here as well all right it does also have facebook uh integration which is really nice you can just click and click log into facebook it'll open up uh things so you can allow bobsled certain uh controls over the facebook as with any app on facebook 
<coughs> uh, it also has a phone option where you can see your recent call history and you can actually call anybody within uh, Canada, Greece, Mexico, Puerto Rico, and the United States and it'll automatically change the uh, little plus number, I forget exactly what that's called, between them so you can dial the proper numbers. Uh, it works really well. I've used it to uh, do a couple of business calls and things of that nature when I don't want to get off the computer while I'm pretending that I'm working. Alright, so we'll pop over to the settings tab now. Um, there is a lot of information in here, so we are going to go over it one at a time after I tell you the bits and pieces. Right here you have the audio devices. Um, this controls your input and output. Um, the devices that you're actually using from your computer. <clears throat> your voice options, your sounds options, pop-ups, and the C3 settings. So popping back over to the audio of devices, you can see here that you can choose your input and it'll pull up all of the inputs. Uh, this will be different because it automatically detects uh, what inputs you have. And your output default system device um, or you can set it specifically to your speakers or what have you. And then you can test your mic as so. You can choose the different voice font here and you can decide what you want to sound like. These are super annoying. I don't recommend anybody using them. Uh, when they do work, they are very harsh on the ears. So. <clears throat> Also in the audio devices section is the OS button. Uh, this is super nice because it automatically pulls up your operating system's uh, sound controls. So you can see that my playback is set for speakers, my recording is set for the mic in the rear panel. Uh, you can also fine tune that, I think it's here, yeah. You can fine tune that, rename it. Uh, your listen and then your levels. This is really important for really fine-tuning how you sound in uh, a chat channel. Um, you can boost your microphone so if you're coming through a little uh, muffled or what have you it's probably because your microphone isn't necessarily the best quality or it's too far from your face. Uh, you can change the decibels at which it uh, it boosts the signal there. Um, I am not a sound engineer so don't ask me what it all means I just know that it works <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and cancel out of that <clears throat> sorry hold on alright uh, here you can choose whether or not you want it to be voice activation or push to talk uh, the push to talk can be a little loopy sometimes uh, you can choose to either push or toggle and set the key here so if I were to switch over to toggle uh, if I click that I can set a key so let's say I want to set F so the key is set to F so if I click F you can see that I am talking not muted here and if I click F again then I am muted uh, it's by default set to OEM3 which is the little um, the tilde key or the uh, the backward um, slashy key that goes over an E in uh, foreign languages you know what I mean uh, so if I were to click that, it does the same thing. Or you can do push. So as I'm holding it down, you can see that it is non-muted. And once I let go, it's muted. I know that uh, some people have been having a little bit of problems with that. And like I said, there's no support, so I guess we just have to deal with it. Here you can choose your voice font, uh, Sports Announcer, Jigsaw, Munchkin Land. Like I said, those are super annoying. I don't recommend using them. <coughs> Broadcast 2. Uh, this allows you to choose whether or not you want to broadcast to all of the channels that you've joined because you can join multiple channels at a time. For instance, uh, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, I can join the Dragonfire channel here. And I can also join multiple channels. It allows you to be in multiple channels at lunch, or at lunch, at once. Would you like to stay in the current channel or switch? I would like to stay. So it's going to open up that one as well. So you can see that I am in the Officer's Lounge as well as the Dragonfire 
um, channel and you can choose between broadcasting to all of the channels which you can see the bars are moving here that it's broadcasting to all the channels or only focus channels so it's only broadcasting to uh, the first one that I was joined into Dragonfire close those out real quick <clears throat> alright uh, sounds uh, C3 has uh, integrated sound so whenever you get a chat message a friend request while you're online um, sounds will go off pop-ups they'll pop up down here in your system tray <clears throat> man my voice is just messed up today uh, pop-ups whenever you get a pop-up it'll appear um, over top of all the windows chat messages show until close etc and so on text to speech uh, I don't have this <clears throat> put in here but whenever a user joins or leaves the channel uh, if your C3 is behind um, your WoW or whatever game you happen to happen to be playing um, and it's not always on top <clears throat> you can uh, have a sound go off whenever somebody joins or leaves the channel and sends messages and so on here you can change the these are the c3 settings here uh, you can change the skin uh, I choose the flail just because I play a lot of uh, fantasy games so I like to stick with one theme throughout uh, but you can change to gunner uh, fly riot and soldier uh, initially they were going to have a lot of different skins that you could uh, download and change between um, like I said doesn't seem to be supported anymore whoever was working on this said uh, F this and uh, seems like and gave up on it so we only have those few skins which kinda sucks you can ch because on the website you can actually look at the skins and there were some really really cool ones that I was excited to get now you can't get them, so real fun. Uh, change your status to away after so many minutes. Pretty self-explanatory. Run at startup, so once you've um, started up your computer, it will start up as long or as well. Uh, the compact mode always being on top. Uh, performance. Deselecting this will decrease CPU usage by reducing graphical quality. <coughs> and that will uh, you don't really notice any difference that I have seen um, clicking between the two and so I don't know if there's truly a performance enhancement on doing that but there is one for deselecting the logging <clears throat> I notice that everything responds a lot better if you deselect the uh, CPU and disk usage by preventing the logging here and you can also select your banned or unbanned users and from there alright so let's pop back into the Dragonfire channel uh, this will be the last bit of the video you can see here that uh, once you're in the channel uh, this is the overall channel volume so you can mute the channel from here or you can click it back on you also have your mic controls which are the same from up here you can't mute yourself from here um, but you can mute yourself up here here you can choose uh, add as friend like user private chat all of the uh, different things you could do outside in the friends list or what have you <clears throat> you can mute audio you can mute text mute all but me uh, mute the audio of non-moderators, mute the text of non-moderators, unmute all and promote to moderator. Uh, I think the only person that can do that is the owner and other moderators. <clears throat> and I think you can tr control that when you create the channel. So you can see that uh, I double clicked there so it brought up my profile. You can go back to the chat here and uh, it'll send different chats and stuff. Uh, it doesn't have a right click to like copy and paste in here you can copy a particular message but you can't paste it like that so you have to hit control V to paste uh, really good for sharing quick websites um, things like strategies or, or uh, raid walkthroughs or stuff like that 
can minimize the um, display pane there, which shows uh, all the moderators and the channel information here. Now, I don't have anybody else in here, but uh, the super nice thing about uh, C3, one of the things that I like the most, is when there are other people in here, they'll also have a little slider bar. And that actually controls uh, their specific volume. So you can control the volume of the whole chat room here, but you can control specific people's volume uh, on their sliders, which is really nice if somebody's coming through really, really loud. Maybe ha they have their uh, mic decibel thing that I showed you earlier uh, up too high, and they're coming through really loud, or there's a lot of background noise and it's annoying. Uh, you can just slide their slider down. You can mute them by clicking on the... Uh, they'll have a little uh, speaker button there. Um, you can mute them and uh, just cut them out. So you can have an eye, or so you can have a better experience with C3. So I think that's all I wanted to cover on C3. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have learned something, and uh, I hope you enjoy C3 as much as I do. So I will catch you all in the next video.